going? This is Heather from All Steel Fitness and I'm going to show you our advanced ball workout today. So we're going to begin as we have for the last two um, videos and start with our abdominal crunches. So we'll start from a seated position. We're going to roll out right to where we feel the abs working. We don't want to be so low dropping down we don't feel it. Come up a little bit more, hands behind the head. So before we're doing a regular crunch, now I'm going to add a little bit of instability. So as you come up, you're just going to lift the leg a little bit. Just like that. Now we're going to try to get to 20. And if you um, can add a little twist as you do it, because you're a little more advanced. Not, I'm not that advanced, but you can go ahead and add a little twist as you get better at those. So that'll incorporate a little bit of instability and work your obliques a little bit more than the other um, two ways that I showed you to do those. So I want you to do 20 of those. Um, Possibly 30, because you are doing only 10 on each side that way. So 20 to 30 is a good number for you to do. And we're going to roll right out into our plank position, facing down. I'm going to face this way. And we're going to go back where our elbows are on the ball. So, once again, plank position is like you're going to do a sit-up on your elbows. So we're going to contract our abs and um, go on our elbows right here. So you want to stay pretty much over the ball. You don't want to be too high over the ball here. You want to go out just a little bit. Now, last time we went forward and back, this time we're going to do circles. So the bigger the circles, the harder it is to hold. So when you start, just do little ones one way and then reverse the other way. So I recommend 10 each way, maybe 20 each way. So another way to make the plank on the ball a little bit harder is to add instability. Something we talked about with the oblique crunches. You can see a theme going on here. You know I love those themes. So this one you're going to hold here, and we're just going to lift a leg, and you're going to hold it. Switch, lift a leg, and hold it. And the further you go out, the harder it is. So for this one, you want to start a little bit more on top. And then as you do, like on your second or third week of doing these, you can go ahead and push your arms out a little bit further, add a little bit more instability. <clears throat> and for the cardio on this one, instead of throwing or jumping or anything like that, we're going to actually add in a leg. Okay, so we're going to do a lunge. So when you do a lunge, you want to take one foot out far enough that your back foot comes up onto your toe. And if you've seen our lunge video with Chance training me, lots of fun, right? Um, or if you haven't seen it, go back and see it before you do this one. So we're going to hold the ball straight out. Matter of fact, I'll show you this side. And then as you lunge down, you're going to go here a few times to kind of get the lunge just right. Then you're going to add a little twist. Good. So you're going to come down. Turn your body and come back up. And I'll show you on this way so you can see how my body stays in the center where <clears throat> my legs stay straight ahead and I'm only twisting my upper, upper torso. So, 10 on each side of that, working up to 15 to 20 on each side. Once again, single legs. We want to do 20 total on each side to keep it even. Um, and that does work into a little bit of cardio when you get going on those. <clears throat> so that's the first circuit. Do those 20 times each, 20 to 30 and three times. Now we're going to get back on the floor and do some bridging. So, <clears throat> remember the bridges, your feet are going to be on top of the ball, hands down, abs drawn in, lower back pressed in, and we're going to come up into a bridge position. So, this is a standard bridge with the ball. Um, <clears throat> now, we can do a single leg bridge. So you're going to hold it up here. Now this one you're going to feel in this leg, in your abs, in your glutes. Hold it up here, 10 to 20 seconds, switching. Hold it up here. You want to keep it up. Tendency is to drop it down here because we want to release that glute. The glute doesn't want to work. We have to make it work by bringing it up. You can even just barely take the leg off if you find that bringing it up here is too hard. Okay? So after using each leg um, one time for about 10 to 20 seconds, and then after that, you're going to go right into a single leg hamstring curl. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your foot up. We're going to start with our right leg, bring our hips up. From here, abs tight, glutes tight. We're going to roll in and out. So you're inhaling and exhaling, relaxing your head, neck, and shoulders, and squeeze at the top of coming. Now, it's really important when you're doing this to make sure you bring your hips up as you go. You don't want to just hold it down here. Feel very little, you know, no glute action, so bring it up. Recommendation, 10 to 12, maybe even 15 on each side. Then you're going to switch sides, go ahead and come down, come up, bring it here. I'm really going to feel like it's cramping. It's not cramping. That's your hamstring and your glute doing the work, which is what we want to do, right? We're trying to work on those legs and get some instability working on the core. 
Um, from there, you're going to go right, so you're going to do that three times. Then you're going to go back to your right leg, and at this point, we're just going to drop our hips down and bring it up. You're going to just finish off those hamstrings. This one's a little bit easier. Bring it in and up ten times each side. Go back to this one. And up, abs tight, glutes tight, ten times. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do is called leg drops. And what you're going to actually do is you're going to grab the ball in between your legs. Now, you know we've done some different variations of this in the other two videos. Well, this is the one where it really is going to get your abs. This is going to finish them off and really, really get to work. <clears throat> so my long-term clients just love these, don't they? So head and shoulders are up, so you're making sure your lower back is nice and safe. Hold your neck so it's controlled. Squeeze the ball nice and tight and breathe it out. And breathe it in. You can breathe it out. Really working, right? 10 to 15 times. If you want, you can add a little pike and bring it back down. After you hit 10 to 15 times, you're going to add a twist. No rest. Bring it down. Almost to the ground. Bring it back up. Always look and make sure you can see between your legs. If not, if you're here, there goes the lower back working. Not the abs. Not the hips. Bring it back down. And back up. Ten is good enough on those. That's what I recommend. Um, windshield wipers. Okay. My clients also love these ones. So when you're doing these, your hands are going to be out to the side, head and shoulders down, and pretend like you're leg is a windshield wiper on your windshield. So you go all the way to the side, breathing out. Start off with little ones until you get the hang. And then all the way, tap. All the way, tap. All the way, tap. Breathe it out, squeeze. Sometimes you'll lose the ball on here, that's okay. Just get up, grab it. Um, 10 to 15 of those is plenty if you want to go ahead and work till 20, work to 20. Um, and then last but not least, we're gonna finish off the legs with a ball squat. So, you're going to put the ball on the wall, you're going to look to the lower, you might want to come on the side, look to the um, lower part of the back here, you're going to lean up against the ball. Now what I like to do here is take a little step out, so I'm leaning up against the ball, after tight, hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider than hip width apart, and then you're just going to lower down like you're sitting in a chair, abs tight, glutes tight, back up, and you're going to breathe out. Good. Keep everything aligned. You want your shoulders, your neck, and your hips aligned here. So you don't want to come up under, and you don't want to be out here. So after you've done a few and you feel like you feel good, your knees aren't going too far forward, then you're going to hold it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Come up, breathing out. And again, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice and tight. And breathe it out. I like to do like three holds and then go back into the regular squatting. You can do anything you want with the hands. I like to hold them up here on the hips. You can even hold some weights if this isn't too challenging for you. But remember, you want to work on squeezing the glutes and the abs here. You're already going to be working the quads. They're working full time. So everything 15 to 20 times, three times of each. Do it in a circuit. And thanks for checking out our ball video. Come see us at allstillfitness.com and sign up to make sure you get these emails all the time. Have a good day.